Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to do the um, domino joint in the door, where we're going to be bringing these two pieces together and putting a domino in there. So to begin, I've got my combination square set at 1 and 1 16th. And I'm going to put a mark referencing off the bottom here and a mark referencing off the bottom here. And at this point, in case you haven't noticed, um, the edge has been rounded over and the lower rabbit has been cut. So this is what we're going to do for the glass door. Okay, to use the domino, the first thing I have to do is get the cord hooked up to it. It's a twist lock cord so it just presses on and it twists over and then it's securely. The other thing we're going to need to do is lower our guide flap down so I'm going to loosen this and this just drops right down and this is ready to go. And the way this machine works, it's very similar to a um, biscuit joint where you line it up and run it in, which is what I'm going to do right now. Use a number 8 domino, which is roughly 5 sixteenths thick, 7 eighths wide, and inch and 7 eighths long. When we go into the rail, we cut a narrow slot indicated by the smallest setting. So I'm going to set it up, line it up. And go all the way in. Set up and go all the way in. We're going to maximum depth on this. So here you can see the mortise and the domino will fit nicely in there. Now when we cut the second half, okay, the part that goes into the style, we are going to change this setting to the middle one. This gives us a little bit of play when we're trying to actually put it in there. So for the style, we're going to be coming in from the side. And once again, I line up with my pencil line, turn it on, and go all the way in. So you can see at this point, it's a little bit wider in there, it's a little bit wider, so if things are off, it'll give us a little bit of room to slide around. But this is how the joint is going to go together. So to fit these two together, I'm going to start out mitering, I'm going to start out mitering the end of the rail. And to do that, I'm going to put this fixture on it. It's basically 245s stapled to a piece of plywood. I'm going to line it up and just chisel down. So what I can do is see if I'm hitting that ledge over there. And if not, I just start working it down. Now I want to bring this down to where everything is in a straight line. Tap it back a little, a little more, and everything needs to line up. And that looks pretty good. Next we want to cut the second half of the miter. 
So I'm going to butt these pieces together and make a pencil line where that miter needs to be. So that's where it's going to start. So to make my job easier, I've got to take all this away. I'm going to do a quick dash to the scroll saw and get rid of most of this. Having taken that away, I'm going to put my fixture back on it and line it up to my pencil line. Just start bringing it down. Now I'm realizing what I'm doing here and I'm not happy with it. I should be using a chisel that is narrower than my pieces. So if I'm off a little bit, I'm not going to be leaving a mark. So I'm going to change over here a bit. And that way I can just go in. All right, now I, ha I have debris in here that needs to come out. This whole area needs to end up perfectly flat. So I'm gonna get that out. Not usually the angle I'd work at, but for the sake of the video, it should be okay. I'm just trying to get rid of that high spot. And that looks pretty good. We'll see how it fits together. Getting there, but I need to go up a little, just a little bit higher. I need to go up just a little bit higher on the top. You see my lines aren't quite lining up. I'm at it again. Just take it off a itty bitty bit. A little itty bitty bit. This front line, this front plain. This edge right here should not get impacted at all. Should not get touched at all. Make sure you got all the, your debris cleaned out. I'm going to take a look at it again. Now, that looks like a nice joint. Yeah, that did it. That's much better. That's much better. 